Okay, here's a debate between James White and Bob Enyart. <clears throat> and this typifies the difference between the Protestant and uh, the Orthodox, right? Now, Bob Enyart, as you know, I've critiqued um, James White a lot, and I have a lot of uh, things to say about Calvinism. I think <coughs> um, the God of Calvinism is monstrous, uh, and all five points I disagree with, especially predestination and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but uh, what Bob Enyart is proposing, something called open theism, is more ridiculous, but both have a basis and, and, and have a, a God or an idol, and what is that? It's the Bible. It's this canon of scripture that is, I mean, because Bob Enyart takes the view that uh, God is not uh, omnipotent, uh, omnipresent, I, I, it's very strange, and it, uh, the first time I watched this, I didn't believe, I thought it was just, I didn't think Bob Benier was serious, and if you watch this debate, you'll see what I'm saying. Um, but uh, Orthodox believe, and, and James White keeps using the term Orthodox, when he's, he, and he's referring to all Catholic, all Eastern Orthodox, all Protestant, right? But we know what we say when we mean Orthodox, Eastern Orthodox, Oriental Orthodox, that kind of thing. We believe that God has foreknowledge, but there's no predestination. Now, that's, uh, you know, there's many uh, paradoxical things like uh, hypostatic union, although I don't really put a hypostatic union really in... I, I, sorry, I don't see that as paradoxical, but um, the Trinity uh, also can be seen as... Um, <clears throat> paradoxical all right it's it's beyond us there's many things about God that's far beyond our idea but both of them refuse to believe that God has a static state you know his essence and then his energies are a different one and there's something intentional that Bob Enyart does about how the Sun when taking on the humanity of Christ that a change happened you know and James White keeps trying to explain this. He uses very technical terminology. It comes across very poor. But it's it's just silly. So Bob Enyart believes, you know, um, God can be wrong in many instances. Everyone has this entire free will, which if people have completely free will, then why can't they fly or reverse the aging process or any of this kind of stuff? But that uh, the Bible is, you know, supreme or superior, but then has to go back and say, well, God didn't really harden Pharaoh's heart. He just knew it was going to happen, this kind of thing. So there's no literary devices in the Bible. There's no, uh, there's no flaws in the Bible. You know, it's, the Bible is their idol, right? They're, they're, this is their, you know, golden calf. <coughs> but it's, it's amazingly silly. Uh, James White, it's, it's embarrassing because he, just mops the floor with Bob Enyart. I'd love to discuss things with Bob Enyart because it's very, very silly. Um, now again, predestination I think is terrible and I disagree with almost everything about Calvinism. But uh, you really have to see this debate to believe it. Uh, and I wrote some comments on there and I didn't realize this is actually Bob. Bob Enyart actually posted this which I don't know why you would post that. Like if, if I, if somebody caught a picture, like if I took a bunch of acid, right? Like a ton or, you know, some drug even wilder than that. And I was running down the street with a butcher knife smeared in green jello saying, I am the chicken man uh, with full on erection. You would, I, you wouldn't think I'd post that to the internet for everybody to see or put it on YouTube. Well, this guy, this is pretty much what happened here. Uh, it, it really is amazing. I'd love to talk to or debate an open theist because I find it so amazingly interesting. Uh, he even says it's possible for um, the Godhead to be destroyed. And he keeps using Godhead, but, um, or not destroyed, uh, become unglued or, or dismantled. 
which tends to make me think that he doesn't believe in the Trinity. Pretty wild stuff. Peace to you.